Uh, it's wireframe technology, so please forgive that. And let's get going with my uh, All Your Base Belong to Us introduction. Uh, I did everything in this game. Uh, that's both cool and terrible. Is uh, I um, I'm not the best artist. I did virtually every art piece of art in here except the logo and uh, a uh, picture of uh, of the game player uh, that you see in a mirror in one place. Everything else was done by me, uh, including the sound effects. Um, in fact, that sound is actually a Star Trek phaser slowed down. Um, and uh, I even put a microphone down my toilet to get a uh, I get that sound. Um, we start out uh, on our ship. We've just crash landed on our planet and our lights are out so let's turn the lights on. The interaction model for a colony with objects use this uh, 2D model. You run into things and basically you could manipulate them. I found that to be very frustrating. I really wanted to be able to uh, interact directly with objects in the 3D space. But I was lucky to get uh, to, to be even moved through a 3D space in any reasonable speed, so I, I, I really uh, couldn't complain much. Uh, this is actually a full environment. Uh, this is your spaceship. There's the stairs to the right, and right here is a door that takes you to the bathroom. And you can walk over here, and you run into objects, and you get uh, sounds. Uh, you're, and you're seeing to be splashy and stuff. Uh, across here is um, uh, your office. And you run into objects and give you notes and things like that. Uh, clearly, uh, not much going on in your ship. In fact, the big puzzle was figuring out how to get off the ship. Let's go downstairs. So we just came down those stairs there. And we're in the lower level of the ship, and there's the airlock, the dreaded airlock. Uh, unbelievable how many people died trying to get through the airlock. Uh, the very name of the, you know, calling it airlock wasn't enough of a tip. But, uh, nevertheless, I'm not going to dwell on that. I just want to show you a few cool things. Uh, one of the things you'll notice uh, is the top and the bottom. If you look carefully, I'll put my finger here. This and this, and as you can see this, are actually mirror images across the center, like that. And what that allowed us to do, allowed me to do, was compute just the bottom, or the top, I forget which, uh, a point, and then uh, you could find the top by just doing a subtraction. And then you just draw a line between them, and there you are, uh, instant wall. Uh, it was a quite nice trick, and actually I'll show you something a little later that uh, where I was able to even give you uh, a sense of a very different kind of world. Now let's open another game, uh, a save game. Uh, let's go to um, the first floor. Here uh, we just, I believe, just entered the colony, uh, and uh, we're in. The, we just came through that airlock. And we can go down here, and now we're basically, these are the creatures that you deal with in the space. Um, they're different shapes. And uh, when you shoot them, they actually shrink down to these little tasty morsels. And that's how you got power-ups. You uh, killed the creature, and then you were a little more strong. Uh, interesting note about this particular corridor is the first one I built. I knew that when I got it first running, that once I turned the corner I would crash, but I was just so taken by what I saw, I had to see what was around the corner, even though I knew what was going to happen. And sure enough, I crashed. Um, that was, I mean, at least it fit with my, my expectations. Uh, I was able to get quite a bit of mileage with very, very simple tricks, like this is just uh, doing uh, bisecting the wall by doing a few shifts. Uh, had to do a lot of that on another guy, and uh, let's get him, oops, and then 
and then around the corners. Um, I believe there is the elevators over here. This actually did a version of ray casting to compute visibility. Um, I didn't use it for textures like was done uh, later. Uh, didn't occur to me. Uh, but still, uh, the basic ideas and the basic visibility map was there. Um, next thing, let's show um, a forklift is a very cool thing. A lot of this game required you to be able to pick objects up. Notice this space, by the way, you notice that the ceiling is very, very high. What's really going on, of course, is I completely flipped over the space and there is no ceiling. I just drew lines all the way up to the top of the screen. Uh, the forklift's cool. Let me get out of that. This is, uh, there's a little morsel. Uh, the forklift is required to move both the, uh, to save the, the humans that you found inside the uh, colony that were in chiro, uh, cryogenic sleep and then to also uh, pick up the um, uh, teleporter modules. In fact, let's go find one. I think there's one in here. Sure enough, there is. Oops, and there's other things too. Uh, the creatures would blow up when they're standing on top of another one of these little eggs. Uh, interestingly enough, these maps were actually huge, but they only took about 4K in size. Um, basically, if you look at it, um, each, um, each of these cells contained uh, basically one bit to represent each wall. Uh, in this case, uh, since the, the, the next cell over would include its wall, this, this wall here, uh, so this only needed to worry about two bits for the wall and would have other bits to represent additional information that would be included elsewhere. So basically uh, each cell was eight bits and had enough information for you to figure out if there was any other stuff that you need to worry about. And so with just that you were able to basically determine, uh, ba basically generate this entire scene. For example, this desk uh, was uh, a single reference inside that uh, uh, 8 bits. Actually what would occur is the 8 bit would refer to another 16 bit number that would include all that other stuff. Uh, let's see what's this. This may be, oh yes, these are these twisty passages all alike. I think this one may have taken you to, ah yes, this, this may crash. Let's give it a shot anyway. Yes, it crashed. We'll pick up in just a second.